Hi there, this is Gary Kreft. And this is Chris Scott, and we're with Kreft and Scott Homes here in Austin, Texas. We're here today to answer the question, what should be included in an offer when making an offer to purchase a home? Man, this is a great question, especially when the market is hot, you're going in and you're competing with multiple offers to buy the home of your dreams. Mm. Boy, you wanna make sure that you get that contract, right? Right, and oftentimes, um it's easy to miss or not include certain things that would make your offer stronger so mm -hmm. that the seller who's considering the options that they have to sell their home would pick your offer over others. Yes, so let's, let's actually break this down and start very first, Chris, by understanding what goes into an offer. The most important things you need to put in an offer mm -hmm. is what the seller wants in the <laughs> offer. Because it's not just about price, right? No, it's not just about price. There are a lot of different terms that go into an offer how long you're going to take to close on the home, what kind of an option period are you going to have, how much money are you going to put down for earnest money and the option period. Mm. Are you going to ask the seller for any concessions, any seller paid closing costs? You know, and, and there's a whole range of items that you need to really negotiate into an offer and include in there in the beginning mm. to make it as attractive as possible to the seller. But you must always start with this question, what's most important to the seller? Mm -hmm. And the only way that you will ever know that is by having a really skilled buyer's agent who can extract that information from the agent who represents the seller. Gotcha, so it's not just a matter of guessing what they want, no. but it's the activity or the action of reaching out answering effective questions to draw that information out, right. and then including those concerns in the offer that you put together. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, and last but not least, Chris, make sure it's a clean contract. Sometimes when I'm representing sellers and I have multiple offers, I'll have agents come in here and put all different times of terms and conditions and deadlines, et cetera, and it just makes it complicated and messy for the seller to understand. Make your contracts as clean as possible understand what it is that the seller wants when they want to move, what's most important to them, um, is earnest money really important to them, is the title company that you choose really critical to them. And then uh, in addition to that, make sure that you have always included in your offer your pre-qualification letter or a letter from the bank verifying your funds. Mm. So Gary, what should they do if they're thinking of making an offer? Well, if you're thinking of making an offer and you need any help, reach out to us because we're here to help you structure the offer to make sure that you get the home of your dreams. Send us a message.